morning. It is Andrew Parker, aka Apricot Andrew, aka Wafello, aka Spider Man, and I'm headed to a theater to go perf blah blah blah. And I'm headed to a theater to go perform some magic. So let's go there. I am here at the theater now. This is the back of the theater. I'm gonna go inside. I took my stuff in, and I'm going to go inside and eat a little lunch that I brought because I didn't eat before I left, and I'm starving. So. All right, so I just ate, and I think I'm just gonna randomly juggle things around backstage and stuff. They're getting set up. We still have like two hours before we perform. We're gonna do a run through in a minute, but uh, I think I'm just gonna juggle and show you the stage and some of the magic props because they look pretty cool. So, montage of that, go. Microphone. It's wireless. How cool is that? All my magic props. Magic, magic, juggling, magic. Chris. <laughs> Tommy. This is Tommy. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? The senior magician. The senior magician. I'm doing a balloon swallow, so I swallow this balloon. Hopefully, I'll get footage of that. I just got off stage. I'm gonna go on stage four times, but I just got off the first time, and I was doing a balloon swallow, and um, the balloon popped. The balloon popped before I could um, try to swallow it. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew! Okay, so I just got off the stage for the second time and that was interesting. <laughs> so first routine, my balloon pop. Second routine, the whole routine is based off of me finding someone in the audience and letting them do the magic. So I hold cue cards um, and I let them read the cue cards and then they just do the magic trick and I help them along and they just read the cue cards. So I picked a guy from the audience and I don't wanna make fun of this guy. I'm not gonna show, I don't think I have any footage of this trick so I'm not gonna show it even if I do because I don't wanna make fun of him. I feel so bad. I don't know if it was because he's nervous or has a speech impediment or something, but the guy stuttered the whole time. So a trick where the whole premise of the trick is that an audience member should be talking. I chose the one person in the audience that probably has a speech impediment. I'm two for two, baby. Whew, I just did some juggling. It went very well. Here's some clips of that. Now with juggling, it's important that you have everything mastered, okay? You have to be a master of all the moves, all the patterns, all the tricks, but you also must do it with style. <laughs> now a masterful juggler could even do this and look away. <laughs> Watch as I add a third ball into the pattern. Do a couple of fancy tricks. 
tricks in case there are any jugglers in the house. <laughs> I was once asked, uh, what's the craziest thing I've ever juggled? I like to juggle a lot of different crazy things. And I didn't know what to say at first. And then I remembered that I've juggled hearts, okay? I'm not talking about that one time I had three girlfriends at the same time, okay? It's, I was, I actually juggled literal hearts, okay? Senior year, anatomy class. They're dissecting a cow's heart, okay? I was like, yo, teacher, can I juggle this? I'm just kidding, I didn't ask, I just did it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get three people from the audience to give me a random object. We got a sandal, okay. Awesome. You want me to um, What's this back here? That looks interesting. Howdy. Cool. And let's do. Uh, let's, let's go over here. That's a phone. You trust me with your phone? Same person. Awesome. All right. All right. Same rules about this. If I can juggle a fluffy little soccer ball. Um, a sandal and a phone. I think you should all go nuts. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Now if I break your phone, she's gonna go nuts. <laughs> And I am done. Three magic routines, one juggling routine. It is almost nine o'clock at night. Good day. How'd the show go, Chris? It was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. Everyone's leaving. Hi, what's your name? Anna. Anna, what'd you think of the show? It was great. It was great. Was I the best? Just say yes. Just say yes. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. You're very nice. She was in the. She helped me in the show twice, actually. Show them. Show them the drawing. This is one of the tricks. Uh, I made this levit not levitate, rise. <laughs> it was cool. It was cool, it was right? Cool. It was very cool. And I also juggled her phone. Not broken. It's not. How was the show though? It was good. It was good. Yay, we didn't fail completely. Right. Most everyone has filtered out. I'm gonna do a backflip just because I feel like it to end the uh, the night on stage. Ooh, that was loud. That was better. Successful magic juggling show thing in the books. Let's go to Dairy Queen. We are at Dairy Queen now, and as we are walking in, we see this. It's a poster for the show that we just did. This looks really good. This is really good. What is it, Mom? It is a Best Chocolate Cake Blizzard. Best Chocolate Cake? It's the Blizzard of the Month. Ah, cool. Dad? Banana Split. Woo, that was good. Very good. Going home? Going home. And I am home. And right now this video is about nine minutes, but YouTube algorithm apparently really likes it if it's about 10 minutes long. So I'm just gonna rant about random things for a second. So the first thing I'm gonna rant about is of course, make sure you subscribe and turn on that little bell notification thing because I post dope, vi ah, the brightness of the thing. I post awesome videos. This was gonna be a peace sign, but then I just wiggled the fingers, so. Wiggle piece. What am I talking about? I did say I was gonna randomly rant, so I guess that fits the category. Three videos a week are, I'm starting that again. I'm gonna post three videos a week, so make sure to subscribe so you stay up to date on that and turn on the little notification so you'll be the first one to watch it. And that's just like a cool honor. If you comment first, apparently that's a big deal. A lot of people do that and they get some sort of satisfaction out of it. I don't know if there's awards for that, but if there is, that's stupid. But if you wanna be the first one, make sure to you know do that little bell thing. I can also tell you the Bible verse that I read today. It is, in their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. I think that's Proverbs 16, 9. Just something to think about. I read all you guys' comments, and I'm gonna start doing that uh, reading your comments section again in the vlog, so comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video and any of the other videos. Say hi to the snakes really fast, and then we can go. There's one back there. That's the fake one. Don't freak out. I don't have a rattlesnake in my, in my uh, bedroom, okay?
Some people think it's weird that I have snakes in my bedroom. I'm like, you can just chill out. But even I probably wouldn't put a rattlesnake in the vicinity of my sleeping body. Avengers. Anyways, there's Stryker. He's the one that bit me. If you wanna, if you want Henley to bite me, I mean, if I get enough subscribers, you know, and they all want me to, I can do that. I mean, I'll let him bite me. I don't know. Also, look at this. This is adorable. It's a bell sock. No, it's not mine. Judgmental much? Gosh, why are you judging me for a sock that is not even mine? Even if it was mine, I'd wear it. Calm your face. It's an awesome sock. It's just not my size. It's my cousin Starling's sock. She left it here. Anyways, carpe diem, wita es bono. Go have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.